epic contact keys. So something that I like doing, obviously I I like uh, using contact library Alicia's keys. If you use a keyboard, like a like a piano sound piano sampler run it through overdrive so it really crunches it up and then i'm eqing out some mids but then if you just slam it with like a ton of like long reverb and compress the crap out of it it's a really nice layer that seems to be able to like penetrate through any any mix like i use this a lot a lot in my drops wherever you hear a piano layered in the drop usually it's like extremely overdriven and then reverb but you don't actually hear the distorted artifacts of the overdrive because they're kind of being drowned out by everything else. It's more like a compressor at that point, like more like a spectral compressor, a multiband compressor in how it practically functions in the mix. But I think it sounds overall better this way than just using something like because it adds more harmonics and it just levels everything else out. I mean, it's the same principle as like using a soft clipper for saturating. It's like you can make something sound louder, but it, it gives you more headroom. So there's less dynamics in it. Like you, you don't hear that top end buzz in the mix. 